So if you want to find out the length of a string in JavaScript, you simply access the length property of the string. But if you want to find out some other things to watch out for with using length, then keep watching. Hi, this is James from Junior Developer Central, and welcome to JavaScript Snippets, a series of tutorials where we look at some of the key things that you need to do with JavaScript as a junior developer. If you have a second, don't forget to subscribe below to support the channel and so that you don't miss out on any of these essential JavaScript trainings. Okay, so we've already seen that it's really simple to find out the length of a string. We simply access the length property and it'll work on any string literals as well. So if we were, for example, in the console here to type in hello world, and then you can just directly access its length property and you'll get an integer value come back with the number of characters that are in that string. There are a couple of things that do catch new developers out. For example, the length is a property, it's not a function. So if you try to call it with the parentheses after the length keyword, you can see we get an error coming back saying length is not a function. And that's because we need to access it as a property and not as a function. Another thing some new developers try and do is actually try and assign a value to the length property. So you can do something like this. So we've got our, our string variable at the top and let's say we try and set the value of that to zero. You might expect that to actually get rid of all the contents of the string, but if we inspect our string element again, you'll see the text that we had originally is still there. And if we try and access string.length again, you can see it's still coming back as 19. So that statement where we set the length to zero just had absolutely no effect. So another problem that some developers do come up against when they're first learning JavaScript is getting a undefined value back when trying to access a length property. And that's usually because they're trying to access the length property on something which it isn't actually a string. So for example, on the page here, I've got an input box and it's just a standard text input box and it's got an ID of string input. And if I go back to the console, I can access that element simply by saying string input. And you can see I've got my HTML element there. But if I try to access the length property on there, you'll see it doesn't actually exist in the autocomplete that comes up. But if I try and force it and call it anyway, you'll see it comes up as undefined. And that's because we're trying to access the length of the HTML element and not the actual value that's contained within it. So the way around that is pretty straightforward. If we just say string input dot value and then access the length of that string, you can see it comes back as 19 as it did in the variable that we had set up before. So in this example, the value is actually the string that's contained within the input box rather than accessing the HTML element itself. And just as a final thing for this quick tutorial, you can see that you can see that we can access the value that we have in our input box there, but we can also compare that to the string constant variable that we created before. So we could say, is that equal to the value of the length of the input box? Oops, and that's come back with false because I didn't actually call length on the string variable that we have there. So we're saying, is the length of the string that we've got stored in our variable equal to what's in our input box? And that should come now back with true. So all this is illustrating is that the length property just returns a an integer value and you can use that in any of your comparisons. So if you have an if statement or anything like that, you can compare the value of one string to another. So that's pretty much it for this snippet. I hope you found that useful. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more of these essential JavaScript snippets.